What's up YouTube, it's ICU. Today, Apple has released iOS 13.4 to the general public. And in this video, we're going to talk about jailbreaking and why you need to avoid iOS 13.4 at absolutely all costs. It doesn't matter whether you have a newer device or one that is compatible with check grain, like the A11 powered iPhone 10 and older, simply avoid 13.4 completely. And really quickly, before we get into this and talk about A11 and why those older devices that are compatible with CheckRain shouldn't update, I wanted to mention that you guys should check out my Jailbreak Status Checker page for iOS 13.4 on Best Tech Info. It is linked down below in the description. And essentially, it will either feature this red no like it currently does or a green yes the very second the next Jailbreak is released. Anything that is released, that Jailbreaks are firmware higher than the uncovered cover iOS 13.3 jailbreak will be listed here. So this will be dynamically updated. Definitely bookmark that and check it out if you have a newer device and you are looking forward to that. Or even if you have an older device and you're just keen on a semi-untethered jailbreak, check out that page. So let's get into exactly what we're talking about. Now, as many of you know, the iPhone 10 and older they are compatible with CheckRain, which is a boot ROM based jailbreak that essentially means those devices are jailbroken for life regardless of the firmware. However, right now there is some strange issue with CheckRain. See, it simply doesn't work. Every single time, like clockwork, it basically hangs on the step where it enters download mode, quote unquote, at least according to CheckRain, it says, quote, timed out waiting for bootstrap upload. And it says that no matter what, no matter which version you're on, whether you try to use the GUI version, it doesn't matter. On iOS 13.4, CheckRain is broken for the time being. Now down below in the description, there is going to be a link to my guide on best tech info of how to use CheckRain. That guide will be updated the second CheckRain is to include full-fledged iOS 13.4 support and I'll also release a video so be sure to click that subscribe button if you have yet to. It's not that 13.4 will never be jailbroken for those older devices. It will be. In fact, it could even be jailbroken right now because the exploit simply just works forever but for whatever reason there's some sort of incompatibility on the software side of things with CheckRain so stay tuned for that and I suppose you could update upgrade on those older devices only, definitely not newer devices, if you want to forfeit your ability to jailbreak semi-untethered via Uncover, because as many of you know, Uncover was patched with iOS 13.3.1. We'll talk about that in just a second. But if you don't care about that and you don't mind plugging your device into your computer and rerunning through CheckRain every time you want to boot tethered to use your jailbreak stuff, then by all means, at that point, once CheckRain supports iOS 13.4, you can update to it on those older devices, but for now, avoid it. Now, as for newer devices, so those powered by Apple's A12 or A13 CPUs, which includes the iPhones ranging from the iPhone XS and XR series up to the iPhone 11 series, basically every A12 powered iPad and you know everything in between, those devices simply cannot jailbreak with CheckRain and they cannot jailbreak with Uncover. So the reason why they need to avoid iOS 13.4 is basically twofold. So on the one hand, they simply cannot use CheckRain. They will never be able to use CheckRain because CheckRain makes use of a hardware-based vulnerability in the CPUs of affected devices themselves, as I mentioned. So essentially, Apple discovered that there was a vulnerability within inside the A11 CPU and they patched it with the A12 before anyone else really knew about it. They were aware of this vulnerability and then Axiom X released his work. He exploited it and that led us to check rain. We got CheckRain as a direct result of that security researcher's work. So again, always, as always, huge round of applause to Axiom X, but... What that means is that because it was patched by Apple before it was even released with the A12, you cannot jailbreak with the iPhone XS or newer using CheckRain ever because this is a hardware vulnerability, like I mentioned. So it goes both ways. Apple can neither patch it with software, nor can it support newer devices with newer hardware. So you see what I mean here? It's kind of like a give and take. 
Now, as for the second part, why you can't jailbreak 13.4 on these newer devices, this one is probably more important. Uncover makes use of a kernel vulnerability that was patched by Apple with iOS 13.3.1. In fact, kind of like the Checkmate exploit powering CheckRain, this vulnerability was closed by Apple before it was even exploited and rolled into the jailbreak. So it was closed with the release of iOS 13.3.1. Apple essentially showed their hand to developers and security researchers who then exploited that vulnerability and it was then rolled into the jailbreak into Uncover by Hacker Pwn to Own. So in order to be able to jailbreak newer devices once more on either 13.3.1 or 13.4, what has to happen is that a new firmware has to be released which closes kernel vulnerabilities that can then be exploited and then rolled into Uncover or another jailbreak at that time. And in fact, even iOS 13.4 could close vulnerabilities such as these, leaving iOS 13.3.1 potentially exploitable as well, but we don't know yet, we won't know until Apple releases their full security changelog for iOS 13.4. Sometimes it takes them a while to do this, uh, but I will let you guys know if that is the case. So I'll release a subsequent video letting you know if iOS 13.4 does in fact close any such vulnerabilities. So for the foreseeable future, avoid 13.4 at all costs. Obviously, if you're on 13.3, you can jailbreak. But if you're on 13.3.1, even though it seems like a minor update over 13.3, it's really not. It's a huge security update. And that just means you can't jailbreak if you're on either of those two firmwares on those newer devices for all of the reasons that we just went over. So that is why it's absolutely paramount for you to avoid today's iOS release on those newer devices and also on older ones too, like I mentioned, but to a lesser extent. So that's it for this video, guys. That's absolutely why you should not update to iOS 13.4. And although I know it can be pretty difficult to avoid updating in certain situations, just make sure you are always aware of any and all pop-ups that come from settings because it will pesky try to download iOS 13.4 in the background and you will receive a pop-up asking you to install it later tonight or whatever the verbiage is, but you need to essentially just dismiss that and you always have to be vigilant anytime you get that pop-up that you don't inadvertently commit to updating your device overnight. That is the number one way people are locked out of jailbreaking by updating by mistake. Okay guys, so I hope you liked this one and subscribe for more. As always, the jailbreak situation is dynamic, never static, so I will have more updates for you guys to come. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. And before we go, if you are still here, definitely check out our latest top tweaks video. It is linked down below in the description as well as in your cards right now. It gives you a sample of what you can expect once you are able to jailbreak, and it's a rather interesting concept this time around for our latest top tweaks. Definitely check it out. It's a good one, Tony did. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today I wanna to talk about iOS 14 and jailbreaking. Yes, iOS 14 is closer than we think. And I really have yet to even begin to brainstorm what I wanna see out of iOS 14. as I've been so busy talking about the latest jailbreak news and tweaks. And it just hit me. There are some awesome tweaks out there that would be just incredible to see in iOS 14. And I'm not thinking too radically here, We've seen Apple take inspiration from the jailbreak community in the past to improve the iOS software and add new features to the iPhone. I mean, just as of last year, dark mode is now on iOS. That's a huge accomplishment there. That's a feature that's been around for a long time on jailbroken iPhones, but now it's implemented into stock iOS. Anyhow, with that being said, I figured I would try something new today, give a new spin to my top tweaks video, and kind of combine a few topics here. Now, I just want to show you guys my personal jailbroken setup, what tweaks I use on a daily basis, and uh, throughout this video, I'll highlight some of my favorite must-have tweaks that I really hope come to light in iOS 14. Anyhow, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's video. Let me go ahead and show you guys my current jailbroken setup that's inspired by iOS 14. 
So these 14 tweaks that I'm gonna talk about throughout this video, they're not in any particular order, but I've really focused on simplicity, functionality, and customization. I would love to see that on iOS 14.